What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are working, of course, on another Miata. We're in a different place this time. Some of you haven't seen before. Um, we're actually at my buddy Logan's house helping him put brand new coilovers on his NA, which I'll show you in a second. Um, he actually went ahead and picked, him out, or picked himself up some BC coilovers, which I recommended to him, extreme lows. They're really, really nice. Um, just kind of getting it up. Of course, it's always nice. And there you go. So as you can see, VC extreme lows. You can tell by the extended top hat right here to allow different shock travel. He also got, are these 16s or 18Ks? 14. 14s? Yeah. He got 14K springs, which will be really nice. They're not too stiff because he isn't going to try to go like stance or completely stance or anything, but he does want to go low. So those will ride super, super nice. So we're doing it all four ways and it shouldn't really take too long. I've done this a handful of times now. Uh, I have Jack here helping me and that's my buddy Logan. So <laughs> shouldn't be too bad of a job. Let's just get cracking. So that's I've made, I think like four different videos on coilovers now, but um, it's just a 17 in the rear and the two sway bar bolts and the top hat bolts, super easy to do in the rear. And it's, it's super nice that he's actually already had all this stuff out before uh, to put these coilovers in. That means nothing's too seized or nothing like that. So it makes that job a little bit easier. So they're just working on getting the top hat bolts out and these will go in super, super easily, I think. Let's go. All right, well, just like that, like I said, take a couple minutes to get out. It's laying over there on the ground. So we'll just go ahead and honestly, we might not have to take the sway bar out on the NBZ do for what I know. So we'll try it and just throw this in, see if it works. See if we can't just get this thing up on in there. Actually. Press down. Yes, sir. It's easy as that, bud. This literally took, Push what, five fucking minutes? <laughs> no, all right. There we go. Just like that. Second coil out. Woo! Right. Oh, there you go. Three people, this shit make, <laughs> makes this shit easy as fuck. Literally. One standing, one holding, one putting the fucking nuts on. That was a bitch. All right, she's in. Sick. Then, wherever that big old bolt went. Car going to go super hard, right? It is. What's up? Completely hard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, of course. You don't want to see it. Does that even make a difference? Hella. Really? Hella. So we got both the coilovers in, as you can see. They are both tightened down. Uh, so Jack and Logan are both taking a wheel. We're going to throw it on and see the right height. Of course, we're just going to throw them on exactly how it is right now um, and see where he wants to go. Yeah, of course, it's going to be high. That's just how BCs run them. But uh, we'll lower it down, of course, and see where we want to get it to sit. Should be hella nice, though. Under there. Yeah, nice and slow. That's pretty similar to what you were at. Really? No, no, it's definitely higher than what you were at, wasn't it? For sure. Oh, you see that stiffness though? In the ring? We got lower for sure. Mm -hmm. That's how much a, a difference. Yep, so, yep. Definitely gotta go a little lower. At least I think, and if you want it. Oh my god, he does. Yeah, and then you crank it all the way up. I figured it would be a little high for how it's preset. This is gonna be gas though once they're all on. So we gotta go back up, take the wheels back off real quick, and then lower it. And yeah. All right, so we just adjusted the height on both sides. He's tightening down the last wheel. We're about to set it down to see its height, see if we need to go lower or raise it more, whatever we need to do. 
Um, my guess is it's probably gonna be sitting pretty perfect. For some reason, I'm kind of good at guessing this shit. So, you wanna lower that down? See how it looks? You want me to lower it down? Let's see. Hey, here. Okay. I could still see it definitely going lower. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's what I figured. <laughs> Are they similar though on both sides? A finger gap? Yeah, about, yeah, right about like a, maybe a tiny, tiny bit more than a finger gap. Yeah. It's like at the knuckle. I think you should just bottom out, bottom of them out. Bottom yeah. out? Low key. That's what I did of mine. All right, we'll get it back up, bottom them out. She'll be getting noise. I'm surprised. How fucking low is this? It's really not that bad. Huh. I'm surprised. I thought they'd it's go a lot. The front too. Sitting up. It's not sitting up that high though. Because it's on coil low. I can definitely tell the difference. It is sitting up a little bit high. The front. In the front? Yeah, yeah, for sure. The rears definitely need to go down. Oh, more. yeah. We're way lower in the rear. We got to go down a little bit more. I think. I mean, I'm still recording. I'm recording the ground. <laughs> we gotta go lower basically full slam the coilovers with all the collars on them without fucking with a preload or anything so this is as low as the extreme lows can go without taking shit out hopefully sit it's also gonna settle a little bit so you gotta remember that it'll probably go down quarter half inch but let's put a little weight right here a little jump get a little weight down on them huh Really? So like that's the right height. Of course it's gonna drop probably quarter inch, half inch, probably around a quarter inch. That's not too bad though. I mean, it's not super, super low, but it's like, it's not like you're super cambered either. Like, you know, you can only go so low without camber. I would say it looks pretty oh, damn good. The only way to tell is to put the fucking toe basket on. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's super similar on both sides. Finger. That's what you wanted. Oh yeah. And way stiffer than the old coilovers. Mm -hmm. It's definitely lower. You can definitely tell that it's lower. Oh yeah. With the front, we got two finger on one side, Sheesh. one finger on one side. This looks... I like it. Oh yeah. Alright, so as you guys saw, we got the rears done. Front's in the air. We actually already you hit him with it. We actually already went ahead and pulled out the front coilovers. It was just as easy as the rears that came right out. And through the BCs in both sides. We're just gonna go ahead and get the bottom bolts into uh, the mount down here on both sides and then tighten her up. Should be good to go. Okay, so the wheels are on, got both BC fronts on. Um, I'm guessing we're gonna have to raise them a little bit because we did full slam them and the fronts usually go a little lower. But Jack's about to set him down. We'll see that height. She mm. that, that looks pretty good, bro. Like, like that's back. actually pretty. That's not bad. Almost like it could bit. probably go up a little tiny bit to match the rears a little more. Just, no, but the rears might settle a little bit more. You gotta think. But it's like, oh, this one needs slow. to go a little bit lower. A little bit lower, or should we just raise that side? No, I want to lower it. Well, we can't way. lower them anymore is the thing. They're both maxed out. Really? Yeah. I maxed them both out. Like, I, I took the little stupid things off on the side of them. I lowered them both all the way. Yeah, then raise this one up a tiny, a tiny bit to match this side. I would say it's almost pretty dead even all the way across. I mean, the rears are a tiny, tiny, tiny bit higher, but I think they'll lower themselves a tiny Two bit. finished everything's tightened down everything's adjusted exactly how we want it it looks pretty damn good we took it around for a drive and it feels great the 14ks are actually surprisingly um i would still say pretty dailyable to be honest like they're really not too bad at all the travel is great with the extended top hats in the rear and of course like the fronts are always extended they're huge so you don't really need them but all the corners around look pretty good Fitment's hella nice. And it's like, it's pretty stiff. 
like what you would think because like most stock most uh, stock like br series or like times and stuff come in like eight and ten k's which is like 10k in the front eight k's in the rear which really isn't that much it's still pretty bouncy um but this is a pretty nice like upgrade for going lower but not being like full slam because like you don't really need that stiff of a spring rate but yeah so hope you guys enjoyed uh, i'm sure you guys will see this miata um plenty of times on the channel eventually um something to do with like meets maybe or just eventually on the channel for any reason at all but yeah so hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did let me know peace out